have no idea who you're messing with. I am the Archmage, and you are Arch Ashes. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we should have everything we need to make our Archmage set. So we're going to start off with that. I also have farmed up all the materials that I need to upgrade the flame for the final time, except for the uh, fill, uh, the Sickle Scythe head, so we'll be going after that uh, later on in this episode. That is the plan anyway. Uh, yeah, so spent a lot of time grinding uh, we've gone through I don't know maybe three to four crop rotations of flax in order to make all of the linen and um, padding that we need to do all this stuff so yeah let's um, grab the linen that we currently have it out of here and we're going to need to make nine pieces of padding let me double check that. I don't want to screw this up because, man, that stuff's expensive to make. Um, Archmage set. That's the one we're going for. Um, well, let's let's even just double check that one last time, too. So the Warlock set is 25% critical strike and 8% magical. So for all intents and purposes, it's 32, 33% a percent increase in damage because all we care about is magical but the critical is, critical accounts for everything so that's a 32 percent increase in damage the archmage set is a 28 percent increase in damage it's 26 and 39 this is yeah those are the same so if i'm reading this correctly um this guy does more overall damage than this guy. Magical critical strike, critical strike damage. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <coughs> nope. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm reading that incorrectly. This is chance. Okay, so that, that has 25% more damage when you get a crit, and this has 8% more chance. This is... 13% more damage. So this is less critical damage, but a higher chance of getting a crit. This is higher critical damage, but a lower chance of getting a crit. That's the difference between those two. Okay. The Sage set <clears throat> doesn't increase damage at all, just increases chance um, at the same level as um, the Archmage. And then it has a revive duration, which is completely useless to us. And then the magician sets the lower set. Okay, so it's so I think for for our build and my playstyle and what I want to do with this character and so forth, I think I'd rather have I'd rather crit more often because when we do that, that then procs some other things that we have. So we're definitely gonna go for the Archmage hat. Alright, now let's compare the chess pieces. This simply gives 6% wand damage, whereas this gives us <clears throat> more mana and health. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I, th they're both the same as far as resistances goes. I think I would rather go with this um, because we use our staff, of course, as often as we can, and we have some other nice perks uh, that come with our wand anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go with the chest for this too. The sage chest, just, we'll look at it. It's healing. I mean, you know, useful to us for healing ourselves for sure. Um, and 48 more mana, but this gives us, gives us almost twice the mana and some health too. So, yeah, I think Archmage set works out, uh, wins out on that as well. Let's check the hands next. So again, more wand damage and damage specifically against magical foes. More staff damage and magical damage against magical foes. 
Yeah, they're both 9%. Yeah, again, I, I think I'd like to favor the staff uh, for our build. And the Sage, just a little look at it. Again, healing stuff, not really useful to us so much. Uh, the Revive, anyways, is completely useless to us on single player. All right, so let's check the pants. We're just doing our due diligence here. I'm just making sure that I'm not maybe possibly missing something. Um, okay, so the Warlock pants increased damage reduction limit from magical armor. When he says mag or when he when this says magical armor, I'm assuming they're talking about the ward. Because what else do we have that's magical armor besides that? Uh, and 45 health. More mana and mana regen. Mana regen's huge. And this is revive again, revive stuff. Yeah, completely useless to us. Okay. So yeah, I think Archmage Pants also wins out for us. It is it is pretty apparent to me that the Warlock set is designed for a Battle Mage build or somebody who really, really uses wands a lot, which we, you know, we use wands when we have to, but we mostly use the the staff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's look at the, at the shoes. Warlock, health regen and a less health regen delay. Archmage, mana regen. Yeah, we just... <laughs> and mana region uh, less delay. Yeah, I, I just can't pass that up. Um, the Sage is more healing and plus four mana region, which is the same as the Archmage. Okay, yep, so I think Archmage is, is what makes the most sense for us. But we, you know, we checked and there you go. Now we can feel good about our decisions. Okay, so the um, we're, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Okay, so we're going to need nine padding in total to make this set. You're welcome. You're welcome. To make padding, we need... Uh, we're going to need 27 fabric in total, which we have plenty to that. We're going to need nine leather, 18 resin, and 18 linen. Um, okay. Resin... Let's go ahead and grab 18 of these. Um, linen. I think we said we don't needed 18 of those too, I believe. We'll double check here in a second with our, our pinned information. Yeah, 18 of those. And I have actually leather up here in the tannery. Lots of leather. Okay, so that should be enough for us to make nine padding. Let's do it. Whew, most expensive item to make in the game. Single item. Um Okay, so we got the we got the nine uh, padding. Now we're for some reason this is a blue almost an entirely blue and gold set, but it wants yellow fabric. Why doesn't it want blue fabric? I don't know. That is just really bizarre. Um, okay, so let's do the fabric next. We need one, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We need a total of sixteen yellow fabric. All right, and to make that, we need saffron. So we need sixteen saffron and sixteen fabric. Let's split this into 16. And we already have the fabric in our inventory. All right, there's our 16 yellow fabric. <coughs> Excuse me, fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's something in my throat this morning. Okay, so that takes care of the padding and fabric. We're going to need... Three lapis, nine lapis, eleven lapis, eleven lapis. Right. 
There's our 11 lapis. Whilst we're here, let's put the leather in there. Oh, you know what? I guess I guess I had one yellow, <laughs> one yellow fabric we could have used, but that's all right. Not a big deal. All right, there's one more thing that we need on one or two of those sets. We got the lapis. We need three fossilized bone. Five fossilized bone. I think I have those in here. All right, that should be it. That should be enough for us to make the full Archmage set. Let's do it. Beautiful. It's still magic, even if you know how it's done. That's right. Okay, so um, if we look at our attributes, let's look at our damage. Um. <clears throat> Magical critical strike chance. So right now we, we can do, with the current set we have on, we can do 62% critical. And 24% critical strike. 62 and 24. Um, Damage and 7% damage against magical foes. I mean, that kind of doesn't matter a whole lot because staff damage. Well, that's because we're not we don't have it equipped. So yeah, we don't we're we're not worried about that stuff right now. We're just looking at the armor. Okay, so the ones I want to focus on are 62 critical, 24 critical chance. Okay, so 62 and 24. Now, whoops. Let's go back in here. Okay, so there we go. Okay, let's go here. We're 63 and 25. Okay, that's not that's not a an, an major increase. What? Uh, oh, and we get the staff damage though too, right? Just from the armor alone. Okay, so that's pretty nice. 12% increase in that. That's actually really nice. Um, a 9% against magical foes. I think, wasn't that 7% before? I don't remember. And then, um, yeah, we didn't look at any of that stuff. The other thing though, that I want to look at is we have nine mana regeneration and, and 0.38 mana regeneration delay. 10 spirit and 11 intelligence. Okay, so 10, 11, 9, and 0.38. 10, 11, 9, and 0.41. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. no that, that, mm, I think we want this number to be lower, right? The delay after which regeneration becomes active. Yeah, I think we want that number to be lowered. All right, so it didn't really do anything for our attributes themselves. Um, and the mana regeneration, I believe, is the same. But it did, it doesn't decrease the time before mana starts regenerating. So it's, you know, it's not a massive improvement. It's just a step up improvement. And that's okay. And this, even this, this is the best <clears throat> set that I can craft in the game, but it's not... Um, it's not the best set in the game. Those we, we can only get by looting. Okay, Archmage. Make sure I got the right ones. Right ones. Archmage, 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 Archmage. Very cool. And look look at us, man. <laughs> we look awesome. All right. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Um, all right. Good deal. We have... It, 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 it's just, the funny thing about it is, you know, it's just the way these things work, but... God, that was a lot of work <laughs> to make this set. Let's look at it in the sunlight here. Um, we might need to... We might need to get ourselves a nice little screenshot. 
before the before the lighting changes. Okay, look at the camera. There we go. That looks awesome. Nice little milestone to reach in the game to craft the the in game stuff. Uh, okay, so next order of business for today is we want to um, we're going to actually do two things. Um, I ended up I ended up looking up online. Uh, or on YouTube, where to get the, the blocks for this house. Um, I did that for a couple reasons. One, this, this is not my first playthrough, and I did get those blocks in my first playthrough. I just couldn't remember where I got them. And second, I really want these blocks here. These are called the rough cut stone blocks uh, in order to continue working on our place here and getting it fixed up. And... You know, we can use these other blocks, but that then means that later on we have to replace them with the right ones or we rebuild the entire house with those blocks. And I don't really like either one of those ideas. Um, something else, too, uh, I, as you can see, I moved my I built four more seed beds and I moved them over here along the, the side of the thing. Um, I can't the game won't let me for some reason plant inside of these the last time I tried it. And. I'm going to try it one more time just to make sure that I'm not imagining things. And if I can't, then we're going to tear those out and maybe maybe put some new ones in or possibly do something different. Uh, so let me get all this flax harvested and some more seeds going. Um, we probably are finished with the massive, you know, flax grind for this playthrough, but I'm not 100% sure about that. We might still need some of this for other things. Uh, so we'll do one more batch of it just to have it. And then um, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to set out. All right, guys, it's morning. Um, there was something else I wanted to show you, too. I made in the laboratory some spice. And I think as soon as we pick this up, um, we're... we made a bunch of nitrate, too. That's good. We'll work on that later. Um, as soon as we pick this up, it should open up the um, other recipe for spirit, which I think will show, or no, I'm sorry, for intelligence. It should show up here, because right now, as you see, it doesn't show up. But if we pick this up, and this is uh, the recipe for it too, if you're, if you're curious, that's what the Kindle Waste flowers are used for. We should now have Yes, we do. We got the glow soup recipe. Oh, nice. Okay. So this gives us five plus intelligence and 60 shroud protection for 45 minutes. Um, very, very good stuff. Uh, so we just need some water and some blue mushrooms. Let's make a batch of this. And we can retire our mushroom omelet. Um, we'll grab some water and... Um, Blue mushrooms. Where do I have those? I have those actually in the alchemy chest. I'm just going to make as much of this as we can with what we have just because this is now our main intelligence food for the rest of the game here. Oh, it takes so many mushrooms. Um, It does make three per though. It does make three per, so that's good. Um, I don't know. Do we need these mushrooms for any other purpose after this? Uh, yes, we do, actually. We need them to make the, the large mana potions. Okay, well, that gave us 18 of these. So, whoops. Let's not burn all of these up. Of course, I can always get more, too, but uh, 18 is good. It's a good number. That'll, that'll last us for a bit. Okay. Uh, let's put the... Well, I guess we had the water in there, didn't we? Uh, we can put the spice in here for now, too. It's close enough. Um, we will be working on getting our inventory sorted. I've made 25 shroud oil. And for the giant storage, or the huge storage, we need... 
We need four per. Oh, and we're going to need a bunch of shroud cores, too. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we'll we'll be just making these up a as we go. Um, because I don't want to make all of them and then have to remake all of them. Or even, you know, make the huge chest now and then have to redo them. Um, we could do it that way, but it's just it's just a huge pain in the butt. But what we will do is... Do I have at least four shroud cores right now? I know we used a bunch to... Yeah, we do. Okay. So let's split this. Um, okay. And then what else did... I know we needed four shroud oil, which is back here. And then you also need, uh, or we need the this stuff to make the chest itself. Let's just pin that. I don't think we have eight nails. We'll have to make some more of those, which I believe I put in here. Yeah, we only have three of those. Twelve wood planks and two iron bars. Iron bars are here. And I think I have wood planks in my table saw. Let's not take the whole thing. Let's just do this. Okay, and then we need to make some nails. Let's just pull some scrap out of here. Don't waste your breath. Okay, so let's make the huge chest and then the magic chest. And that's our first huge magic chest. We're going to put that right in this corner here. Make sure it's rotated the right direction. Put snapping on. And there we go. So this gives us... Um, that much storage space, which is a lot. This has one, two, three, four rows. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So almost double the space. Cool. All right. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'm just going to be making those as we go along. And setting setting them up and, and you know, slowly moving stuff over. But I'm not going to do that on camera because that's too tedious and plus we don't have all this stuff to do it yet anyway let's try one other thing here real quick just so you guys can see that i'm either crazy or not crazy yeah see how it won't let me plant this here for some reason it says not enough free space what if i turn snapping off does that matter uh-uh so yeah it doesn't let me plant in these beds um so that means we're going to I'm going to dismantle the beds and either rebuild them um yeah probably rebuild them cuz I cuz I like the way they look. I think they're cute. You know, they they work for the decoration and stuff. These have a bunch of vines on them. So, uh we're all also be working on that later. For now, can we just put you back in here? Yeah. Good deal. Okay, I think we're ready to set out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to... Uh, let's see. This is the Low Meadow Spire. This is the Ancient. So I think right below this ancient obelisk, which is where we did the story of rot a long time ago, right down in here, there's a place called Netherton, and that's where we get that block. Um, so probably the low meadow, well, low meadows are springlands. Just trying to decide which one's going to be closest. If we did low meadows, we could kind of go this way and then move our way up the shroud 
to that spot. Yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, and we looks like we might even have a shroud root down there. Uh, so we might as well hit that because I'm max level, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, I'm level 25. Uh, so I have no more points via level. We're just going to have to get our remaining skill points from root, root kills. So we'll take a little trip down there, do that, and then mess around in the shroud a bit, working our way up towards Netherton. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to be careful because there's some red muckety-muck down there. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm not going to take any buffs yet. Oh, good. Um, these wraith creatures will give us cores. We'll buff up uh, with our shroud protection and all that stuff after we kill the root. Uh, where did she... Where do we kill her? Well, here. Let's kill the root, because then we'll be able to see a little bit better. And then, uh, hopefully we can find it. Oh, here it is. Right here. Okay, good. Yeah, we definitely want to get that shroud core. Okay, so we're going to head down that direction. Let's go ahead and buff up this time. This is a very low-level shroud area, so it's not like it's going to be hard for us, but... The shroud itself could still kill us, and the red muckety-muck definitely could, so... We'll just buff up and be super powerful. Okay, let's do this. New location charted. Netherton. Okay, we're here. So, yeah, see the red glow thing up on the top of that tower? That's where we gotta go. You have no idea who you're messing with. I am the Archmage, and you are Arch Ashes. There we go. Roughly cut stone block. That's the one we need. Cool. All right, let's let's hold, uh, head back home and just kind of refresh before we head out and go after sickle scythe. All right, to make this stuff, rough cut, roughly cut stone block. We need stone and rubble. I'm just going to try a couple of these out real quick just to make sure it is indeed the right thing. I'm pretty sure it is, but we'll double check here. Got some rubble there and some stone. Put a couple of things away real quick while we're here. Um, oh, we have enough cores to make a second uh, giant or a uh, huge chest as well. You know what we need to do is we need to get a better staff. Um, because this staff kind of sucks. I mean, it, give, it gives really, really good fire damage, but I run out of mana so quick with it. Um, okay, so, trying to remember from memory. We're going to need nails. And we're going to need planks and two thingies of iron. I think it was 12 planks, if I recall. We need four shroud oil. There we go. 
Let's also make a whole bunch of those. Our second huge magic chest. Nice. Okay. Um, put you guys back. Put you back. Grab our building hammer. Uh, hammer. And let's go ahead and go to four meter. put that there it's gonna screw up the wall of the house I think yeah let's not use this we'll use the two meter Is that a full foundation there? Okay, turn snapping off. Oh, we went one too far, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm okay with kind of the... the dirty look outside. I just don't want the grass and extra rubble. But that I think that's appropriate for outside. And we might be able to grab these. Rotate it this way. anything up in here did it I don't think so and then that's blocks all along the front and I think I think it was a two no that that goes all the way around solid I'm, I'm just thinking of the sidewalls here So, can we get you Yeah, like that. Nope. Let's go in, in a little further. Okay, cool. Um I'll I'll worry about that later. And then if we just flip this this direction and butt it up against there. And then we'll just fill in this part with the little blocks. There. Ah, that looks much nicer. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really happy that we finally found the right block, so that way we can keep moving. Because here's the thing. I mean, I don't want to wait till the very end of the game to finish the base, because that's kind of what I did last time. And, you know, when the game's just about over, it's, you know, you don't, you, you can't enjoy the full base. You know what I mean? So I, I, I want to start prioritizing more building uh, to keep working on this and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys I, I don't know if we're going to get to Woodguard that is such a huge project um so we'll see I'm not going to say yes I'm not going to say no but I would like to get Harvest Homestead fixed up you know our main house these outbuildings at, at a very minimum and you know get a nicer garden going and, and stuff like that and then we'll kind of see where we are 
but uh, now we can now we can really move forward with the house itself because we have all we have all the right blocks to do that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this away. We got a, a sickle scythe boss to kill. Uh, the other the other really big reason why we should be fixing this house up as best as we can is for you know a, a much better rested bonus because my my rested bonus sucks right now. It's just because I haven't really done anything, you know, with the house to speak of. So, yeah, that's another incentive to really get moving on it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We've got this quest here. Uh, Sun Temple Stories. Um, and whilst we're there, we can also do Emily Frey's Tavern, which will get us another block. That I'm not so sure I like that block a whole lot. But we can do it anyway. Yeah, okay. So, what we're going to do is... Oh, we need to go check our gold chest, too. I, I, I've checked... I checked it once off camera, and I got a bow and a two-handed weapon, which I just melted down because it doesn't really help us out. So, let's go back in here again. Do I have glow potions? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and... Pop one of those now. We'll pick these while we're in here. What I'm what I'm really jonesing for is a better staff. We just need a better staff than what we have. Okay, come on, game. A spellbinder hat. Whoops. Okay, this is a level 23. It gives opportunity damage and parry power. I'm going to call that probably either a rogue or a battle mage piece of gear. And therefore, pretty much worthless to us. That sucks. All right, let's go check the silver chest and we'll, we'll grab this stuff along the way too because it's here for the grabbing. Okay, we're going to have some bugaboos. Get out of here. I think the red one still needs to pop. Yep. He's the dangerous one. Stone rot sword. Worthless. Well, not worthless. Runes. Okay. Uh, we'll salvage that. I mean, I'll hang on to that. I don't know why, but I will. Like I've said before, I just hate throwing that stuff away. All right, let's just go. We need to get to here. Yeah, I've got a. I left an altar here at East Lapis, so we could go back in there and thump the boss, um, or get a second loom. Which, actually, I should have done that already. <laughs> just didn't think about it. But we're not going to do. We're, you know, mess with the, this boss today. So we're going to have to hoof it down to the Sun Temple. How, how many... I got one one altar. That I can put up, but then we'll increase that, of course, when we do our final flame upgrade. Oh, for Pete's sake, it's getting dark. <laughs> oh, no, is it getting dark or light? I think it's getting dark. Yeah. Damn it, Jim. Here, let's grab some of this while we're here. Well, I might, um... I might travel at nighttime. We'll see. I'm not going to kill any more of those guys for now. This is actually pretty damn dangerous for me to do at night, isn't it? <sighs> Alright. I'll 
I'll see you guys in the morning. I just, cause I, I just can't see anything, you know, that's coming. I could have a vulture right over my head and swoop down on me without even seeing it. Too dangerous. Foolish. It's foolhardy. One thing about the nighttime in this game, man, they don't mess around. When it gets dark, it gets dark. It does brighten up when the moon comes out, you know, somewhat. But for the first part of the night and for the very last part of the night, which is, you know, true to real life, uh, it's just really, really dark. Experience scroll. I think that's worthless to us now since we're max level. They didn't... Did they change? Yeah, see, they didn't change the level in the latest update. I think they are planning on doing that, though. Um, well, they're going to have to because, you know, the game's just going to get more difficult from here on out. At least that's the assumption. But since I guess since they didn't add a new territory, um, we didn't really need it. Uh, let's go with these bigger bombs since we have a few of them now. We'll extinguish this flame and continue towards the Sun Temple. Um, let's actually mark there and Sun Temple is already the main quest anyway, so I guess it's already marked based upon that. Down with you. We have a point, don't we? We have one point. Um, bum, 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 bum. We're finished with Battle Mage Tree. And I think we wanted to work, open up Trickster just so we could get the these end ones. Not so much this one. So we're going to have to kill two more roots just to open up those things. Or, it would be really nice to get to Dessert Stomach. Because then we could add a health regen food like the fruit salad to our repertoire. That would help us a lot. So, do we want to go for more pew pew? On a critical hit with a spell, the target will be stunned for four seconds. You will gain one spirit for every two levels of the flame. That is some really good stuff, man. Well, it doesn't matter because we don't have enough points to do anything about it at this moment anyway, so I can think about it some more. I was kind of hoping we'd have a, a better staff before we fight Sickle Scythe. But uh, unless we come across one before we get all the way to her or it, I don't even know if that's a her or an it. We might be stuck with this one, so we're going to have to really suck down the mana potions. Um. Well, let's go this way. You know, we're not that far away from the spire, actually. But there is a huge... Shrouded area. There's a, a well down there. Now, I, I want to get that last flame level first. Because that's just going to make us stronger for, you know, this end game stuff. And I think we need every advantage that we can get. our destination. Uh, oh, there's scorpions on top of that plateau. That's kind of scary. Let's fly down to here.
We might have been able to make it the whole way, but that's alright. Alright, so we're going to have some bad bads to fight here. Are you... There we go. Okay, he's dead. Emily's Tavern's over there and the Sun Temple's up there. Don't mind if I do. Let's refresh our spirit. And we're good on the other buffs. Except for let's also... Well, do we want this? Yeah. Thing is, we're going to be in the shroud the entire time when we're in the temple. Well, let, yeah, let's hold off on that. Oh, shit. Wrong toolbar. I'm not going to loot that guy. Okay, got to remember to use Ice Wand with these guys. In fact, we should also be using Ice Bolt with them. It's cheaper and faster and more effective. Say goodnight, Gracie. <laughs> they said goodnight, Gracie. You just couldn't hear them because, you know, we're kind of far away here. You guys have a way to get up here? Did. He's dead. Um, all right, let's uh, forget about these Yahoos and get moving here. Now we're going to have some greenies to fight. And I think what I'm going to do is let's put our altar down right here. Okay, good. There's a greenie up there. Did he not? Oh, oh, he's slowed down. That's what the deal is. Look at him outmaneuvering me. Ooh, I like that that double fire of the wand. That is handy. Indeed. Okay, I know there's more greenies around here. I don't want to engage two of them at the same time if we can help it. Bastard. Where's he at? There he is. All right, he did. Get this guy way over here. Catch. Gonna just stay over there? Okay, he's dead. Oh, where's that second greenie? Let's 
be ready with our wand in case he just pops out of nowhere. Some green cloth. So this was the actually the first leg of the honey quest. So if we go if we go back to where we found that Vuka caravan, I thought that's where we found the thing, but maybe it didn't make it as make it available to us because we weren't there yet. This is the block. It's the desert city wall block, so I think it's this stuff here, which looks like shit. And uh, pause that if you want to read it. Emily's, Emily's Tavern. What a way to go, dying on the shitter. <laughs> Next to somebody else dying on the shitter. Uh, okay, I think that's all we got to do here at the tavern. Don't remember if there's any significant loot up there or not. Okay. We got uh, a bad bad up there. One last repair before we go in. Alrighty. Get rid of that. We have 10 minutes left on shroud protection. This will re refresh it for us. Somebody's shooting arrows at us. On the other side of the wall, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's loot you. Yeah, there's some... So, it looks like it's, um... was a mixture of scavengers and shroud monsters fighting each other. Let them kill each other for us. That's fine with me. Something else to loot up there. All right, well, let, let's get moving here. This is a fairly long slog, so... Can I refresh all of this? Dude. Here comes the other one. All right. Let's heal. And, um... I think once we get deeper into the tempo, we won't have scavengers anymore. I could be wrong about that, though. I don't remember. I'm not going to loot that. Let's do a flask of the fell. So... Oh, 
Oh, that's... That's that guy. Oh, shit. There we go. I don't know, you guys. I'm... I'm really liking the new, the new ice ball. Um, it's just... It's cheaper, it's faster, and it has the slowing effect. The problem, though, is that the current staff that we have only gives a bonus to fire. It gave us four sparks. I don't think we need them anymore, but still nice. Uh, well, we're going to have to start popping these because it it's dark in this place. All right, so right now we have 12 minutes in the shroud. Um, I think we're going to take one of these. Hopefully I don't regret it, but we need that extra little bit of power there. come across um, some repair benches in here or what I could do I don't remember if we do or not I could just run back out and repair really quick because it's not that far out there's nothing really I want to loot down here just this one last little repair before we totally commit And we go. You're on ice bolt. Oh, shit. Uh, looks like we're going to have a combination of scavengers and shroud baddies. That freaking hurt, man. I think we got to... Uh, yeah, that's my skull. All right, let's go up this way. We need to get that button. Haunted Sun Temple. Need that button. Is there anything back here? Yeah, there's a chest. Nothing back that way. I think that's it. Okay. Any more bug spawners? Lock trousers. Not really what we want. Oh, we're here already? I thought this I thought this was a longer crawl than this. Uh all right. 
I don't know what kind of damage actually to use on the Fell Circle Scythe. I think somebody told me once in the comments, but I don't remember what it was. So we're going to go with fire because that's got our biggest punch. And we'll just have to be ready to replenish uh, mana potions. And uh, try and use cover to stay away from this bitch as much as possible. Alright. Let's do this. That's a pretty good hit. Here she comes. Actually, I don't know if that's a she or a he. Oh, shit. Okay. We nuked it. <laughs> we nuked it good. Took a pretty big hit ourselves, though, but that's okay. We got the job done. That's the important thing. Let's take one of these. And we have about six and a half minutes left. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a chest in here somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. Here it is. Come on, give us a good staff. Damn it, Jim. What the hell? I don't need that shit. Uh, that's a level 23 bow. We have this 25 here, so. All right, well, I guess that's it for down here. That's GTFO. Yeah, we got a bunch of yoohoos that want to talk to us. Yahoo yoohoos. Okay, let's grab everything out of here that we have staged. Strengthen the flame. Flame level six. All right. Huge milestone in the game. Huge, huge miles, milestone. Oh, that... That doesn't give us more altars? What? What the hell? Hmm. I thought we got one more altar to activate. Maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you get eight on level five and I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, but we do have another minute in the shroud. We have one added to all of our attributes. And we can go into the highest level shroud areas that the game allows. So, good stuff. Hey, uh -huh. Now we just need to get a good staff. You need my help. All right. We'll go after those well blocks for sure because it's a, another point for us. What do you want to say? Above and beyond. Uh, legendary glider. Okay, yeah, we'll be going after that for sure. And what about you? Greatest game. Didn't we already... Oh, that must be like an ongoing... Yeah, in the Kindle Waste. Right, okay. So that's just almost like kind of a, a repeating quest. Uh, we still have Beehive Smoker to do. Hearts of Iron to do. And there's another Sickle Scythe boss there that we can fight. And I think there's a pretty decent chest there that we can farm, too. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, this was a great episode. We accomplished a whole lot and uh, made great progress. So uh, I think what we'll do in the next episode is we'll spend a little bit of time fixing up the base and maybe just do, like, a full building episode. And then after that, we'll go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.